Hi everyone, I'm Abhishek Podal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to solve a problem from hydraulics pipe flow. In this problem, you are supposed to find out the discharge passing through the compound pipe system uh, in which you only have to consider the minor head loss which is caused by a deformation which is caused due to separation. So let's get into the problem. In a water pipeline, there is an abrupt change of diameter from 150 mm to 260 mm. Okay, in this case, the pipeline diameter is changed and this means abrupt change means the sudden expansion is occurring over here okay so sudden expansion first case is sudden expansion and if the head loss due to separation head loss due to separation when the flow is from a smaller to larger diameter that means expanding case first case the head loss due to separation when the flow is from a smaller to larger pipe that is loss of head due to sudden enlargement is 0 0.5 meter greater than the head loss when the same flow is reversed. This is the second case. In second case, the flow is reversed. That means the flow is from larger to smaller diameter pipeline. That means that is sudden contraction. So in this case, you have to deal with sudden expansion first and, and get the value of expansion loss. And after that, you have to calculate the so head loss due to sudden contraction. And then you have to use this equation, this condition, that is, which is 0 0.5 meter greater than the head loss due to sudden contraction. Here you can easily understand the head loss due to sudden enlargement HE is equal to 0 0.5 meter greater than head loss due to sudden contraction. The condition is this one. So you must apply the formula of head loss due to sudden enlargement and head loss due to sudden contraction and finally substitute in this equation. I am going to write this as equation number 1 which is Head loss due to sudden enlargement is equal to 0 0.5 meter greater than head loss due to sudden contraction. This is a first condition, first equation given. In the first case, there is an abrupt change of diameter from 150 mm to 260 mm. That means there is an expansion. First case is expansion, sudden expansion, not only the expansion, sudden expansion. That is D1, D1 and D2. I write it D1 and D2. I always write the suffix 1 and 2 to incorporate the direction of flow. The flow is from this to this. The question asks you, uh, the flow is from this 150 uh, mm diameter to 260 mm diameter. So that's why I write here Q. And you are supposed to find out the flow rate Q here. Okay? Q is equal to what? So in this case, there is a, in this pipeline there is V1 and in this pipeline there is V2. So you know that there is a uh, head loss due to sudden enlargement is needed over here. So, head loss due to sudden enlargement is equation H is equal to V1 minus V2 whole square divided by 2z, 2z, okay. So, I am going to write this equation number 2. So, in this equation, in this head loss equation, uh, this is called point loss, loss due to separation or loss due to head deformation. Uh, so, uh, let us find out this V1 and V2 using the diameter D1 and D2 in terms of Q and substitute over here in this equation number 2. Okay, let us get V1 and V2. V1 is equal to 4Q divided by pi D1 square. That is Q divided by area. Okay, that is 4Q divided by pi D1 square. Finally, in terms of Q, you know D1. D1 is how much? D1 is uh, here. The D1 is 150 mm, 0 0.15 meter. D1 is equal to 0 0.15 meter and D2 is equal to 0 0.26 meter. We have to write this in terms of uh, in meter. Okay. So, how much is V1? V1 is? V1 is 56.588 meter, 56.588 in terms of Q. Let us write this V1 in terms of Q by using continuity and V2 in terms of Q by using continuity. 4Q divided by pi D2 square, pi D2 square you can find out in terms of V2, velocity in terms of Q that is 18 point, 18 point 835, 835 Q. Here the Q is same, the discharge passing through the compound pipe system is same. So here you can see in the pipe V1 there is high velocity, in the pipe V2 there is uh, low velocity, okay, because the discharge is same. So let us substitute this V1 and V2 in this equation number 2 to get the head loss in terms of Q because you are supposed to find out the flow rate at last. So let us substitute this over here in this equation number 2. This equation number EHC is equal to V1 is how much? V1 is 56.588Q minus V2 is 18.835Q uh, uh, whole square divided by divided by 2Z. 2Z means 2 into 9.81. 
and if you uh, subtract this and uh, do the squaring then you are finally going to get the yc in terms of q that is how much yc in terms 72.645 q square 72.645 q square this in terms of q i have got head loss yc in terms of q i write this equation number 3 head loss in terms of q this is the first case in which the pipeline is suddenly expanding okay this is a point loss and another case the question give you that the condition the head loss due to sudden expansion is 0 0.5 meter greater than the head loss due to sudden contraction that means the flow is reverse means that is sudden contraction is occurring okay i'm going to reverse the flow in the first case i'll write the same figure and reverse the flow the first figure is this the pipeline is the pipeline is expanding suddenly the first figure is this and then i'm going to reverse the flow the flow is reversed okay this is and the, the flow is reversed here that means the flow direction is in this direction q flow direction is this the because the flow is reversed okay in this case you have to term this as one that is d1 this is d1 in this case now you have to the flow is from this to this so upstream is one so i'm going to write d1 this and this is how much 0 0.26 meter and d2 is equal to 0 0.15 meter okay this is now v2 and this is now v1 this has been just been changed Okay, because I have to write D1 because the flow is from this to this. In this case, you can see that the there is sudden contraction. Okay, I'm gonna find out the sorry, contraction loss that is you see in this case. Now in this case, let's calculate the V1 and V2. V1 is how much? V1 is equal to 4Q by pi D1 square. That is just use this D1 over here. The D1 is in this case the D1 is this. In this case, the D2 is this. V1 is equal to 18.835 Q. V1 is equal to 18.835 Q. And V2 is equal to, in this case, the diameter is D2. V2 is equal to 4 Q by pi D2 square. Pi D2 square. In this case, diameter is D2 because the flow is from 1 to 2, upstream to downstream. So that, so you can write 50. In this case, D2, V2 is, in this case, V2 is equal to 56.588 Q. 56.588 56.588 Q. So now let's go to find out the contraction loss. I'm going to use the formula of contraction loss. That is, contraction loss that is C is equal to K V2 square by 2Z. Okay. You are going to use the velocity V2, not V1 in this case. K V2 square by 2Z. And uh, find out K. K is 1 divided by CC minus 1 whole square. This is the K. How much is the K? If you substitute C, C, C then K is 0 0.40876. 0 0.40876. You will get the value of K that is 0 0.40876. And finally, substitute K and V2 over here to get the value of C that is head loss due to sudden contraction. 40876 into V2 is how much? 56.588 Q whole square. Whole square divided by 2 in divided by 2 into 9.81. If you solve this, you will get your C in terms of Q. That is, your C in terms of Q is 66.7142 66.7142 Q square. This is your C in terms of Q. Your C is equal to, that is, 66.7142 Q square, which is the equation number 4. I am going to write this equation number 4. Okay. This is a head loss due to sudden contraction when the flow is reversed. You just make the picture first and just reverse the flow. And while reversing the flow, you write the suffix 1 and 2. You, you have to take care about the upstream and downstream case. Okay. So uh, that's why uh, I have got uh, enlargement loss and contraction loss both. And I'm going to substitute this enlargement loss and contraction loss in this condition and get the value of discharge finally. Okay. Let's substitute this over here in equation number one. Substituting yh e and yh c in equation one. Equation one. And how much is yh e? Yh is equal to yh is equal to seventy two point six four five q square. Seventy two point six four five q square is zero point five meter greater than the head loss due to sudden contraction. That is sixty six point seven one four two. Sixty six point seven one four two q square. When you solve this, and you are going to get the value of 
this charge. That is, this charge is how much? This charge is Q is equal to unsolving. Unsolving, you are going to get the discharge capital Q is equal to 0 0.292904 meter cube per second. 0 0.4 meter cube per second. Okay, 0 0.2904 meter cube per second is the discharge, which is the which is the uh, you know required value of this question. The question asks you to find out the discharge. When you substitute the discharge in velocity v1, you will easily get the value of velocity v1 and v2. And uh, you can also, uh, if you substitute that value of discharge, you also uh, get the value of head loss due to enlargement DRC and head loss due to sudden contraction. All the values you, you, you get the all values, okay, if you substitute the value of this discharge. Okay, this is the case, very unique question asked in final examination of IOE. So, I have solved this. And uh, uh, if, you have, if you have any trouble in hydraulics and fluid mechanics, you can subscribe my channel and uh, you keep, it, uh, keep in touch with me and I will push the important questions regarding fluid and hydraulics. If the question asks you to determine the pressure difference between the pipeline in first case and second case, okay. So when the question, when this is the first case, you can apply the Bernal just left to the uh, sudden expansion and just right to the sudden expansion, okay. When the flow is from this to this, you have to write this one and write this two. So you can easily apply the Bernoulli between one and two by considering the head loss that is sudden expansion loss. P1 by gamma V1 square by 2G and if plus Z1 is equal to P2 by gamma plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus which loss you have to incorporate that is enlargement loss in this case. And just you uh, this is cancel out because this is in horizontal you know if there is a point loss just you have to cancel out the elevation difference between the two point. Just you are applying the Bernoulli between just before and just after this this point okay this is a uh, expansion point just uh, before there is a velocity v1 and just uh, after there is a velocity v2 okay you can easily find out the velocity v1 and v2 by substituting the discharge and then you finally get the value of p1 minus p2 from this equation okay the question may ask you the pressure difference between the the transition the pressure difference between the transition this is the case of sudden expansion and you can also apply the Bernoulli between uh, 1 and 2 in the case of sudden contraction also to determine the value of pressure difference okay okay thank you so much uh, see you in the next video and if you have any problem you can uh, write a comment in the comment box okay uh, see you in the next video thank you